I'm your tech god Wayne. Today I want to show you how to force restart any Motorola phone by following these commands. It's super easy. You're basically going to hold down on the power button and volume down button until the phone goes black. Okay? And again, this should work for just about any Motorola phone. Again, all you got to do is hold the power and volume down until the screen goes dim. Let me show you right now. Power, volume down, hold. Now, sometimes it will trigger a screenshot. Just continue to hold the buttons. I've seen this take seconds, just like that. On uh, older models, it could take longer. It could be up to uh, 30 seconds. So just keep in mind, just keep holding those two buttons, power volume down, until the phone restarts, okay? This will usually fix any issues you have with the screen uh, freezing or your touch screen not being responsive. Uh, this is usually their recommended first step for Motorola to try to resolve that issue, okay? Now while the phone is restarting, I want to give a quick plug to Mint Mobile. They have a crazy, crazy holiday promotion right now where when you buy three months of service, you get three months free. Um, and their unlimited plan is only uh, $90. Now in case you're not familiar, Mint Mobile actually runs on the nation's largest 5G network. And they have plans starting at just $15 a month. And it only takes about 15 minutes just to switch your service over. So I've been using the service. I've been having a great experience. And so uh, I would definitely encourage you to jump on this crazy deal with the buy three, get three free. I'll have a link below in the description of where you can get your full details and where you can also kickstart your service, all right? Now, as you can see, our phone is restarted here and um, we're good to go. Now, if your touch screen wasn't responsive, there could be multiple reasons why that was happening. It could have been an app that um, is not functioning properly. It could also be that maybe your touch screen is cracked and maybe um, it's malfunctioning and that's why it's not working. Well, the force restart we just did is the way to test to see, is it a software issue or is it a hardware issue? After restarting the phone, the phone should come right back on and you should be able to use the touch screen like normal. However, if the touch screen still is not working, that means you have a bigger issue and you'll probably need to take your phone to a cell phone repair shop to have them diagnose, is your screen shot and do you need to have it replaced? Um, or could there be another issue that's happening? So anyway, guys, this should work for just about any model of the phone. Hope you found this helpful. If it was, hit that like button down below. If you're not already a subscriber, hit that subscribe button and stay tuned for more videos. Take care and as always, have a good one.